On the 14th of April 2014, the European Space Agency launched the first of its new line of Sentinel Earth observation satellites, Sentinel 1A. It was sent into orbit on top of a Soyuz rocket from the European spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. Now, almost two years on, it's time for Sentinel-1B, its identical twin brother. Sentinel-1B is the first of the second satellites, so to speak. We have already launched the so-called A satellite. And this will help us to have a, um, the double amount of data, or only half of the time to wait. In, uh, in practice, we can get uh, from any place on Earth, we can get within six days an image with the uh, A and the B units together. To achieve this, both satellites will be flying in the same polar orbit, 180 degrees apart, working together as a constellation. They carry a powerful synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, instrument. This radar allows the satellite to provide images of the Earth's surface under all weather conditions, day and night. The unprecedented speed and resolution of the Sentinel satellites is providing an unparalleled amount of data, making it a true success for the scientific community worldwide. It has gone far beyond our expectations. Uh, besides uh, some 80 services which are operational of, uh, and also supported by the European Commission, there are now national services emerging and we have 27,000 self-registered uh, users who have downloaded already half a million of uh, images, and I tell you, you don't download a radar image if you don't really need it. The radar images provided by the Sentinel-1 satellites will allow scientists to detect small changes in volcanic activity, routinely map sea ice to help ships navigate through our increasingly crowded polar seas, and allow a better management of shipping routes worldwide. These are but a few examples of the services provided. Sentinel-1A and 1B are not the first satellites monitoring our planet, but they will be the first ones to do this continuously as an operational tool within the Copernicus program. This is a real game changer, if I can say that. Uh, we want to do now, or we do now, what we have done 35 years ago with the meteorological system, uh, operational satellites. That means we will ensure for many, many decades operational services. And this ensures, uh, on the other hand, the users that they invest in new applications, be it uh, governmental or be it private. The Sentinel-1 satellite mission is an important part of the European Union Copernicus program, for which ESA and the EU are planning to deploy six families of Earth observation satellites. Each of these families will address specific needs and all will provide crucial information to better understand our planet. The information can help mankind to plan a sustainable future for itself and the planet we all share.